One row at a time, all right? This row and that row, and you come. You might come and line up over here. Let's go. This, this, come on. Come on, Yvette, even though we're not friends. Oh, we can hear you, so don't be it. Yeah, we're going to put it on the inside. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Turn that off. Off. Yes. I'm gonna be your job. I don't know what I got you. I got you. Okay. No, no, I get Thank you one. I definitely you. get you one. I appreciate it. <laughs> and I appreciate you. You're welcome. Come on, Mommy, let's go. All right, I'll call you. Let's go. Okay. What's your name again? Amanda. Amanda. Yes. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, uh, no, yo, Zoe, no. Come on. Peace, peace, family. George making that shit again. I want to talk to the family today um, about Urban Nerves and our uh, first year in operation. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's been a fun ride. Um, you know, I, I, thinking back last year when we first took our, our children to the Franklin Institute, that was our first trip. Me and Brother Marvin, man, we didn't have a full idea as to what we thought the program should be, but we knew that we had to take action and do something. Uh, that day, the children had a ball, but it was really still during the time um, and a lot of stuff shut down due to COVID. Um, but we took the kids out. Um, after that, we went and we took the kids to the uh, New Jersey Aquarium. And as you can see in the pictures, I think I took about 25, 25 to 30 kids. Um, and I need you guys to understand, man, a lot of these children, man, they come from broken homes. Some of them have, may have brothers or family members that's been murdered. So where where we come from, you know, here in Southwest and West Philadelphia, man, it's not always a nice place, man. And these kids do, doesn't always have the opportunities that um, other children will have. You know, uh, again, they had a nice time. From there, we took the kids to uh, Brooklyn up to Brooklyn with my homeboy Q Butter. And, you know, my homeboy Q Butter, he had, you know, he had a lot of different things in store for the children when we got there. You know, we were doing a lot of science and uh, 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 math, a lot of different things. He also uh, took us outside where we got a chance to play with the remote control cars that he built up. Um, the brother Q Butter is another brother on the ground that's doing work, that's doing amazing work. You know, you guys have to... Uh, to uh, uh, type up the Zyx Institute, man, and make sure that you guys contact Brother Q Butter because Brother Q Butter's been on the ground for a while doing work. Uh, from there, we took the kids to the Academy of Natural Sciences. Um, as you can see, you know, I have police officers on board. I have uh, military guys on board. I mean, I have school teachers. I have everybody that's been calling me from all over the place that wants to be down and want to help urban nerds, man. And that's only by the grace of the Most High that I've had um, the privilege of having people wanting to help. Um, from there, uh, we, you know, we put together a skating party. And we, man, we had over 100 people show up, man. People come up, people were donating, people was trying to figure out how they can be a part of what we of what we have going on and what it is that we're trying to do. And as you can see, family showed up, man. Um, 
people, I mean, some people that I didn't even know, they just heard of the program. And they, they was one, they was asking how could they support? How could they be a part of it? You know, um, so from there, uh, this Saturday coming up, we having another trip <laughs> um, to the uh, Black Wax Museum in Baltimore. We're going to take our kids to the Black Wax Museum. Um, from there, from the Black Wax Museum, we'll probably stay there for, uh, we have a guided tour. After the guided tour is over, we're going to go to the Baltimore Harbor. And uh, let the kids, you know, just relax, have some fun, get something to eat, uh, do it with some of the activities down at the harbor. Uh, from there, two weeks from the 7th, we're going to Six Flags Great Adventures. Um, I haven't been to Six Flags Great Adventures in like 16 years. Some of the kids never even been there. Uh, we want to take the kids to Six Flags Great Adventures uh, two weeks from there. A week after that, we'll be uh, going to Fort Meade Military Base in Maryland. So these are the things that we have set up for August. Um, I also have a big meeting coming up with executives from Enterprise. Um, man, listen, we're working on some things. We're trying to put together now back to school uh, coat and book bag drive. Uh, I'll have all the information for that coming up so very soon. But look for you guys can look forward to that. You know, as listen, I don't have all the answers, but as Urban Nerds, as long as we stay operational, fully functional, Urban Nerds will continue to grow. Uh, man, on, only Lord knows how far uh, we're going to go. But you know, we're working, we're working diligently in the communities, man. Oh, another thing, we have a a, a youth march coming up too for all the shootings that's been going on in Philadelphia. So we have a whole bunch of stuff uh, um, that's in the works that you guys can look forward to. It's definitely coming. Uh, er, you know, uh, two years ago, I told you guys that we was coming with it with Urban Nerds. And now it's you know it's, it's it's off and running, and I like to be a man of my word. I was raised by my father. And my father always said, "Keep your word." So when I told you guys that I was going to do something, I damn sure was going to do it. And now you see, um, Urban Nerds is functional. You know, it's, it's fully functioning. And like I said, we got man, we got more to come, man. You know, I got big dreams for Urban Nerds, man. I want to. I want to be able to take. I want to be able to take twenty five to thirty kids to Nigeria, South Africa, London. I want to take. I want to take kids from where we from around the world, and I'm starting right from where I'm at, man. Grassroots, you know, and we're gonna build. We're gonna build it up the same way I told y'all two years ago, man. Listen, two years from now, man, we might be in South Africa somewhere. We might be anywhere, but like I said, man, teamwork make the dream work. So this is where we're at with the urban nerds. Um, you guys can look forward to uh, uh, greater accomplishments. Um, I also want to um, put together a, a robotics club and a debate team where we can start debating some of these schools. So I have a lot of things up here, man, that I'm working on. And I'm going to work with some people to get this thing done. So make sure y'all um, go into the website. You can go into the website here, man. You guys can donate. Uh, 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 hit that donate button, man. Donate to our nonprofit, man, and 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 help us grow, help us grow because you too could be a part of Black history. So remember, I love y'all. To the next time, peace.